Hey, what's up guys? My name is Moda and welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be talking about a new Bitmain Bitcoin miner. So this is the long, long rumored S19K Pro, right? So we're going to go over the price. We do have the official specs. We're going to compare it to the competition and see if it's worthwhile, right? Kind of tricky because the specs had leaked way long ago and they're actually different from what was leaked. Pretty similar, but different, right? We'll go over that. We'll go over the details here. Um, so if that sounds good, guys, stay tuned, all right? So let's get to it. So they've been freaking rumoring this thing for quite a while now, right? I've been talking about it. I've been mentioning it. I've been getting annoyed by the fact that they just refuse to debut it. It's finally official. Um, it was originally rumored to be the S19J Pro Plus Plus. Stupid name, right? So they did rename it to the S19K Pro which is interesting, right? Because if you guys are familiar, that K moniker is regarded as one of the worst ever with the S9. Um, and also would imply like something new or something different because it's a higher letter, but it's not really the case. It's kind of like a budget option. Kind of a weird one though. We'll go over the details here, but you can see here that back in March is when they first started talking about it. They did one of those little competition things where you guess the Jules of Terra hash and the price and they'll give an award or a coupon or whatever. So this was back in March. And then about a month later, they put out a tweet saying our new BTC and miner will be officially announced this week. And they actually never did. Right? They kind of just left it, forgot about it, didn't mention it. Um, a few weeks later, a lot of the vendors did start putting listings up for the S19K with the rumored specs, which is the 136 Terra hash. Looked like it was gonna be a budget like XP option. But again, Nothing ever came of it, right? Super, super weird until now, right? So let's fast forward, what, five months since the initial tweet, and here we go, right? So it's the S19K Pro. It is official. Looks like it is going to start shipping next month, right? So this thing is pretty much done, hopefully shipping soon, although their shipping schedule has been, since the beginning of the year, been super off, right? So we'll see what actually happens, but it is coming soon regardless. The specs are here. Um, the key points being, this is what changed drastically, right? It was initially 136 tera hash. It got bumped down to 120 tera hash, but at 2,760 watts, right? That recent release, the S19J Pro Plus, also has 120 tera hash variant, but less efficient, right? That's the key difference here, is that this one's coming in at 2,760 watts versus the 32 and change watt. 3200 ish watts for the other guy, right? So this one coming in at 23 joules of terra hash. So it's within like 10% efficiency of the XP, right? And it's about 13, 14% more efficient than the J Pro Plus. So it's kind of like an in between option. So price point, right? MSRP, they have it listed at $21 a terra hash. So doing a quick little calculation brings it to 2500, right? But as we have seen for the miners that don't sell out, the MSRP realistically is the price after the coupon, right? Um, I did notice on Twitter some of you guys were asking about the coupons. The coupons are the, the ones that they send to a lot of like the bulk sellers or the stores for bulk prices. So they do actually have a marketplace for it. And this is actually from Bitmain. If you go on Bitfufu, this is actually Bitmain's site. This is their cloud mining service as well. But they do have a marketplace for this. Right, and this for the coupons, you could buy them in bulk. I've never purchased, I have zero interest in purchasing directly from Bitmain, only because again, even though you are getting a 30% coupon, you're gonna get hit with that 30% tariff if you're in the US, right? So it's kind of like counterintuitive. Um, but it is there for any guys who are interested or if you are in a different country, well, that's not an issue. That's where you would get them from. A lot of the vendors actually also sell them. If you email any of the big stores, Sometimes they'll just give them away because they're that easy to get. They have that many of them. Like typically even a lot of these listings, it's like you're buying hundreds of these, right? You can see here like the listings, it's like for 90,000 coupons, right? So um, if you're interested, if you have a good relation with the store you've purchased from, you can email them and chances are they may send you some, right? <clears throat> but again, if you're in the US, not really gonna be worth your time. But if we go by that price, right? It brings it down to $14.7 a tera hash. So let's do that. 14.7 times, oh, not 47. Let's reset that. 
14.7 by the 120. Whoa, what are we doing? 14.7 times 120. There we go. 1764, so about 1800 bucks, right? So if we were able to get the price that low, that would kind of change things, but it kind of makes things squirrely because then at that point, that's also the price point for the S90J Pro Plus currently, right? So it's kind of kind of a weird choice that they decided to go with this variant, mainly because again, with the previous specs, the efficiency was actually in line, right? If you go by the previous specs, the difference it was rated at 24 joules of terahash, right? So it was 136 terahash and like 32, 3300 watts or whatever, but it worked out to being a 24 joules of terahash efficiency ratio. So this is kind of like underclocked to get more efficiency. Like, I don't know if it's because they didn't want it to compete with the XP or with the new S19J XP, because again, even that guy is just like a slightly clocked version of the typical XP, right? So I don't know if maybe the XPs aren't selling too well and they didn't want this to interfere with it. That's why they lowered the rating like this. Who knows, right? It's purely speculative, but it is kind of interesting that they decided to do that and because of the price point right unless they do a price reduction on the j pro plus um this guy would be a better deal than that if we're able to get it at that price right but as we go through a lot of the listings right if we go through a lot of the current listings which are rated at the previous uh specs that we had right but the price points are kind of in line with what they've been saying from the get-go essentially like they have it at 2200 and hash does cool dragon at 2289 Minor bros at 3,500. Um, could be a placeholder though. They've been having it, but it's been listed as like out of stock for the longest. And the BT miners has it at 2,500, which is coincides with the typical MSRP. But we'll see how it does. So like at this price, it kind of makes sense because it is better than the J Pro Plus. But is it worth that premium if this is this going to be the street price? In my opinion, not really. Right. Reason being is that, yes, it's more efficient than the J Pro Plus, but is it worth almost a 50%, a 40% price increase? Not really, at least right now, considering how many options we have for cheap miners that are in stock, right? Like if we look at the J Pro Plus, again, they have one that's exactly the same model. They do have a 120 terahash version. Again, it's the difference is the efficiency. Right, this guy coming in at 27.5 joules of terahash, comparing it to 23, right? So it's about a 14% difference in efficiency. Is that really worth a 40% price difference? Not really, right? I mean, unless, I mean, there's two trains of thought also. You gotta keep in mind that about eight months from now, the halving will come, and at that point, efficiency will be a huge thing, right? So in that instance, you can think about it, but again, just the price per hash ratio to me doesn't seem worth it, right? If it was a bigger difference, like with the XP, where people have been underclocking it and been getting like 20 joules of Terra hash, that would be more enticing, especially if it's 2,500 bucks, because a lot of the vendors still have it at around $3,000, right? So like Altair Tech, for example, they have it at $31.99 for that lower end variant, for that 134 Terra hash model. Right, which is one of the better prices now. Right, recently there has been quite an increase. Before this, BT Miners was one of the lower end ones, but they currently have theirs, I believe, at $34.36, but then add $200 for shipping plus tax plus a fee for paying with credit card. Right, so Altair Tech is now currently the cheaper of the options. They're a good option, um, but just keep in mind that price point, right? So at that point, I would probably rather go this route than that guy. But again, if the price does come down, comes into like the $2,000 range, that would make that more appealing, right? But then it'd be interesting because it'd be so closely competing to that S19J, X, S19J Pro Plus, right? So it's kind of a weird like in-between model. I'm, again, purely speculative, but that's my guess as to why they lowered it. Just so it doesn't compete with the XP and the JXP that's coming out later this year. Right, because at that point it's kind of like undermining it almost. If they would release it at at that price point at twenty five hundred bucks for essentially the same as the lower end model, right? And that was kind of intriguing about it is that it was going to be a budget XP, right? But that's no longer the case. 
at least for now. Obviously, it's about the same efficiency, though, as if it would have been at 136, so I'm sure I give it a few weeks or months after. I'm sure they'll have overclocks. They'll have, you know, be able to use the Epic board or Luxortech, somebody, like, for example, with the J Pro Plus. You could already, they actually just tweeted about it here, that you have more options with that one now as far as overclocking, underclocking, etc. So, overall... Let's look at profitability and again with most of these it's fairly similar they're not super profitable again you're buying more for the future if you're in btc mining most of them only make a couple bucks a day or break even right if you have the older like 100 tera hash models depending on your electric rate it's about break even if we plug this guy into a calculator at a 10 cent kilowatt hour it's making about two dollars a day profit right and Overall, for BTC mining, especially at home miners, that's about as good as it gets. In reality, that's kind of the hope, right? You want to be break even or better in anticipation of the bull run, right? But again, just keep in mind, eight months from now, the halving is going to greatly, greatly impact and affect things, right? It's going to be a race for efficiency, essentially. Um, so it could be rough times, just depending on if we have any price appreciation or not. I know recently there's been a lot of articles saying, we got to reach at least, you know, 98,000 BTC price point for break even, et cetera, et cetera. Not realistic because you're going to have a lot of fluctuations in the hash rate after the halving. Like, especially if BTC's price is down, it's going to take a while for that hash rate to settle, right? A lot of people are going to be unplugging. It's not going to make sense. So they're going to unplug their less efficient machines. We'll see where it goes, right? The, the overall hash rate's mostly going to go down and it's going to affect things, right? So. Again, it just depends on the price action, though. Maybe we, as soon as we get those ETFs approved in Q1, maybe that's enough to pump the price and maybe the bull run starts kind of early, right? A lot of variables, a lot of things to consider. Me, personally, with investments, I like to look at what's happened in the past and consider worst-case scenarios, right? So typically what happens after the halving, it's not until like September, October, where we start seeing, seeing that bullish trajectory, right? So realistically, I would plan more for that, potentially like a five to six month period what's not profitable. At that point, if I were interested and it's at a significant loss, I would just unplug during that time and plug right back in when it's profitable. And hopefully we get that price action that we want a good at least three X plus and be profitable and go from there. Right. At that point, you can keep it, continue mine profitably, sell it. Who knows? Right. The options will be there. Um. But those are things to consider if you're getting into BTC mining. Pretty much for me, I'm pretty much I was eyeing an XP for the longest. If prices dip on like the S19J Pro Pluses into like the $1,400 range, maybe I would consider one. But realistically, I'm fairly limited on electric. And for me to just get one unit doesn't make a whole lot of sense when we have all these altcoin options, right? I'm much bigger into altcoins for that reason. Again, if I had... Massive space, I would be stocking up these like, you know, 700 to $900 ant miners, big BTC ant miners, and just stocking those up, right? But that's not the case for me. I'm fairly limited on power and just the uh, thermal capacity, right? That's another big thing. Like right now, it's been insanely hot here in Tampa. Way hotter than usual. Typically, we get a lot of rain. It's almost like a drought period almost. Usually, I can like shut off the sprinklers right now, but everything's like toasted right now. It's been crazy here. But um, yeah, guys, just some things to consider. Again, kind of a weird release, right? Um, we'll see where the price actually settles at. Again, currently, a lot of the vendors have it at that MSRP. But again, typically, the real MSRP or the street price has been the price after the coupons. So again, if it's in that low $2,000 range, $1,800 to $2,200 range, not a bad deal, right? So again, we'll see where the price settles. Should be shipping next month. I would expect a lot of these vendors to start updating their listings here in the next few days. The only one I saw that was fully updated was from BT Miners. All the other ones have the previous listing. And that's also probably why the price was higher, right? It's closer to the XP. Um, so we'll see where they list them at, right? Cool Dragon did have it at 2200. We'll see where it ends up at. Um, all right, guys, just wanted to keep you updated on that. If I hear any other news, I'll make another video, but that's it for this guy. Um, let me know if you're thinking of getting one, right? If any of you guys have been buying any BTC miners, if any of you guys, you know, caught on to that 90 terahash model, let me know how that's going. Keep me updated. 
Let me know in the comments. So guys, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, guys, and I am out.